is a brother? He was with you the last time I saw him. You guys will make us go late to Umuezu. And it's not good for our reputation. We've kept the elders waiting. Mother, I am ready. Find your son. Me, I know they like this kind of thing. I don't tell you before, no, they call my shop. You go call my shop, drink up, but you not go pay money. Me, I know they like this kind of thing. You must pay me today. Today, not today. Clear, clear. Clear in front. They go, they come to shop because they drink up, but you not go pay. It's okay, it's okay. Ah. Customer. Well done, madam. Auntie, welcome. Please, do you have the one that can terminate two months old pregnancy? Ide, Ide, Ide. Okay, I, I want it. Him, but your money na 10,000 naira. I will pay. But you're sure it will do what I ask? She be you say now two months. Don't worry. I'm gonna go give you. Yes. Okay. Yeah, um, you can stay as long as you want. Um, but when you're leaving, make sure you lock the door and give the key to the receptionist. So this is all I'm good at, right? I don't understand. I am beginning to fall in love with you. Why? We've been doing this for four good years. And you still don't feel anything for me. How do you even get erection? I'll come back here. Just wait. If you need anything, ask. I'll clear the bills. Yes, my princess. Go and check if my sister is done with her makeup so she can meet me up at the lounge and we take pictures. Then ask the makeup artist to come in. Okay, my princess. Excuse me, my princess. Where is your brother? Mother. Let's just go. He will join us. So that's a stupid suggestion. So what do I tell the king and the cabinet? We will tell them that he's taking care of something. And he will join us. Simple. And if he doesn't show up? We'll bow our face in shame? Mother, just calm down, okay? Uchenna is into this. Trust me, he did not run away. I understand how you feel, but you have to trust me, okay? He did not run away.
did I ever do to that girl? Father, please, can you just stop complaining? If you keep complaining this way, the entire palace and the environs will know that Dabere is missing. No. She's not missing. She chose to run away. Have you thought of it from the angle that she could actually be in trouble? Dabere wouldn't do a thing like that. She was the first who even accepted to marry the prince, even before I did. That sister of yours is very corny. She fooled us. And you, Barnabas, my kid, where were you when she left the palace? Answer me! Or are you so incompetent that you cannot see to the weapon of this palace anymore? Dad, please, you just do not have to blame him. You know what? I'm going to go out there and look for Dabere no. myself. I don't want your sister to arrive and see both of you absent. I will try to delay the process. Send message across when she's back. Yes, my dear. Okay, Father. You lion of Omago. Oh no. You will live long. It's Yeah, Kanka. If I could go back. Oh, come You go back. Oh, go. All right. We are doing it. You cheer. We are seeing it now. You go and look at me. And it shall be well with all of you. anything you've been away for so long you won't explain anything you don't even want to render an apology for not being around are you serious oh, this place is so hot is the AC not on huh? uh. what see I'm not ready for all of this. There's no time. Why right? just ask my personal maid to bring my stuff and the makeup artist to come do my makeup, please? There's no time. Tina! Tina, come here! My princess, you called. 
Yes, get the makeup artist and then get my sister's personal stuff. Okay, my princess. Okay. By the way, Prince Festus is not here. Um, he's outside, he will join us soon. Who is Kellen? 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 Cha 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 cha. Who is Kellen? Kellen is when? Kellen is when? I know. I really thank the ancestors for giving our sons and daughters the understanding of times like this. Oh no, you are right. Thank you. <laughs> In fact, I don't know what you're going to call for a walk. <laughs> I'm so happy because considering how adamant young men are these days, mm. especially when it comes to the issue of custom and tradition like this, oh. for our young princes to agree to this is mm. a thing of joy. Uh, Ichi, you are right. The gods indeed are wise. This is the third time we are expressing this. What would have done in a time like this? At a point, I became confused. You all will agree that it's more difficult to train a male child, especially when it comes to the area of marriage. My queen, we thank the gods for giving you sons that have integrity. It's because of the integrity in their heart made them to choose to uphold the custom and the tradition of their ancestors. They are right. They are right. <laughs> Barnabas, yes or no, it is time for you to go and call the princesses so that they can come and greet our in-laws. Yes or no? Oh, the, no. <laughs> the lion of Omozo Kingdom. Anobu. Agomba. You shall live longer. The mouthpiece of our people. My princesses, the chief guard just came with a message from the throne room. Speak. It is expected of both of you to go and greet your in-laws now. So why are you telling me? Can't you see she's still doing her makeup? So you should confirm from the makeup artist if she's ready. That's it. Or do you expect me to go out all alone? Okay, my princess. My princess. Speak, I can hear you. Let the makeup artist finish. Okay, my princess. My princess, are you okay? My princess, my princess, call the doctor, please call the doctor. going to be fine and what exactly happened to her my princess 
From the examinations I carried out, it seems that Princess Dabere has taken some kind of concoction in an attempt to abort her two months old pregnancy. My goodness. Doctor, are you sure about this? Yes. From the physical examinations, everything seems to prove exactly what I just told you. Uh, uh, doctor, please, you need to do everything possible to ensure that she's back on her feet again. I will do my best, my princess. And please, I beg you, do not let my father, the king, know about this. Please. Well, okay. Okay. Okay, my princess, no problem. No problem. Doctor, this one you're not saying anything. I hope all is well. Hey, doctor, please. Whatever it is, tell me I can take it. I'm her father. Well, uh, my king, I will need to carry out more examinations on her. But from the symptoms I have observed, I'm suspecting typhoid and malaria. Ah! Your Highness, I'm sure that this is because of the preparation for the marriage uh, that have given the princess stress. Um, Doctor, how soon can she be on her feet? Well, my king, as I said earlier, I will need to carry out more investigations. But then, uh, she should be up and about in one hour. An hour? What are we going to do about this situation? Are we going to inform our in-laws? No, no, Your Highness, we cannot do that. If we do that, that would be uh, give, showing our hands to our enemies. That's a mistake. Then what are we going to do? Your Highness, we are going to launch Plan B. Plan B? Yes, Your Highness. And what is that? My daughters, today I bless you. I bless you in Eke. I bless you at Oye. Say. Bless you at Nkwa. Say. And at Tafo. Say. I say your marriage is blessed. Say. You shall bear male children and female children to your husbands. Say, brother. But male children will be of the highest number. Say. Every evil eyes in your marriages, they shall meet the wrath of God Almighty. Say, you are coming in and coming out with your husbands is blessed. Princess, 
She's not back yet. Oh, my princess. Um, I fear keeping up this way. You rest suspicious. Let me call father. Oh, my princess, what are we going to do? My goodness, I don't even know. You need to calm down and let me concentrate. Who is it? Prince Festus. <sighs> My princess. <laughs> My baby. What are you doing here? Tina, there is trouble. There is serious trouble. Trouble? How? Ah, where? Is the palace on fire? Maybe. Probably this palace is on fire. Let me tell you, Princess Adogo is stuck with Prince Frestos. I managed to sneak my way out. I believe Princess is hiding in his bathroom, pretending to be Princess Deborah. You don't mean it. This girl safe. Why is she always disappearing on important moments? Putting everybody on high tension. I don't know for how. And the whole thing is getting complicated. Eh? The whole thing is getting complicated for us. I don't know what is wrong with this Umo Ejima. They want to drive me crazy. In fact, they are driving me it's, crazy it's already. Okay, you, you have to calm down. You just have to follow things the way they play out. Yes. Now I have to go and wait for her at the gate. Probably sneak in like a thief. It's so annoying. It's really, really annoying. It's okay, I understand. But you really have to calm down. Eh? Your body to the halt. Calm down. Just me. Smile. Calm down. <laughs> You'll be fine. How are you feeling, my princess? My back on my legs ache. I understand. You'll be fine. I'll get you some painkillers. But is that all you are feeling right now? Yes. What happened? Why is my sister and our marriage? Dad. It's still going to hold, right? Yes, the marriage held. We had to disguise only to be you. She will distract the prince. Okay. Father, please, can I speak with the doctor alone? Princess, the pregnancy is still there. What? That thing almost got me killed. 
yes, and I don't understand. Why didn't you just come to me instead of taking that concoction? How did you know I took concoction? I am an experienced doctor. I knew exactly the state of your health when I examined you. Besides, food and drinks is not my problem right now. So you're going to starve yourself because I got married? Listen, Uchenna. Hey. What did you call me? Uchenna. So I do not have the right to call your name too? What exactly have you been doing for four years now? You know, I just got into this place. I just wanted to chill, spend some time with you, you know, for the last time before I go back home, but seeing all of this, I think the best thing to do right now is just to go back home. Of course, you should have a reason of wanting to go back. I don't have to give you one. Amara, you're beginning to be saucy and I don't like it. Uchenna, looking at your face right now, I feel like spitting on them. Hey, stop. At this point, I think we need to leave. You can go home, I can find my way to the palace. Sorry. It's okay. It's all right. We'll talk about all of that in the morning, okay? All right. Let me go to my room. No. We already consummated your supposed wedlock with him. So fast. You took longer than I could handle, and the guy was all up for action. So what would you have me do? See, there's no way I'm going to sleep with two brothers in one night on my wedding night. <sighs> it's all right. It's okay. I perfectly understand what you did, you did for me. I am not blaming you for anything, all right? I just want to say I appreciate your sacrifice. It's not like we chose them, we didn't, and they didn't choose us either. So whichever one we end up with won't be a big deal, right? Yeah. All right, let me take my leave before the prince notices my absence. All right, good night. Uh, uh, welcome, my prince. Thank you. Welcome, prince. What a beauty to behold. Welcome, my prince charming. Okay, so by that, I will assume that you are my wife. <laughs> <laughs> you are so humorous. You're beautiful. Amazing, amazing twins. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so it's the point where I leave you two to enjoy yourself. Good night. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Thank <sighs> you.
What? <laughs> I just want to sit here and stare at your beautiful face. Mm. I mean, stare at those face that the elders you know, deprived me of staring at our wedding ceremony. So let me just take this opportunity right now to look at you. Okay. So, does that add spice to this? You can say that again. <laughs> you know, I, I didn't believe that this was going to work. I mean, I, I'm so happy it's working. I was actually really scared. But right now, it feels like we've known each other forever, for ages. Hmm? Oh, you see why we need to believe in our traditions. <laughs> <laughs> Majesty. Amara, you're going to be punished for not obtaining permission from the proper channel. Your Majesty, I didn't want to bother you with the news of my mother's ill health. Your mother is not feeling well? Yes, yeah, she was not feeling well, but she's fine now. Why didn't you tell me? So I could give you something to give to her. I, I didn't want to bother you, ma. Did the prince give you anything? Yes, he gave me some money for my mother's medical bill. Next time we're going to visit her, tell me so I can give you something for her. Thank you, Majesty. You can go back to your duty post. Oh, see who I have here. <laughs> Greetings, my queen. Oh, stop, stop. Don't call me that. Call me mother. You are not my subject. I'm sorry, mother. <laughs> the table is served. Mm. I can see you're getting acquainted with your kitchen. I actually love cooking. It's one of my hobbies. So I decided to make something delicious so we all can take as breakfast. Oh, that's very lovely. <laughs> Thank you, Mother. <laughs> all right, so let me go get my husband so we can all eat together. Um, he went out. He's not around. He didn't tell me about going anywhere. Oh, he didn't intend to go out. Um, she failed called him. So you stepped out to see him. Don't worry, I will eat with you, okay? <laughs> ah. it's... Greetings, my queen. My princess, you have a message. Excuse me. Dr. Zola. Miscarriage? Excuse me, mother. No. It's okay. No, no. Tabere can't have miscarriage now. That's what happened. But you shouldn't have done that. Yes, it was. You shouldn't have that was a fault. You, sh you shouldn't say something like that. It's okay. Sorry. It's okay. I am so scared right now. Scared about what? I don't understand how the princess would just collapse like that. <laughs> Who would have prompted that? Even me too. I'm so scared. I pray she's fine. I pray so because <gasps> Princess Abere, she's, she's a good woman. Yes. Who knows how Queen Utina would be feeling right now? Yeah, she is. Eh? Do you know what? Up to now, we've not heard from the doctor. Exactly my point. I'm so scared. I just, I just pray she's 
She gets better. Don't worry, she'll be fine. <laughs> what is this deal to have done? Father, there was nothing we could have done with the situation other than accept or give in to fate. No, this is not fate. This can lead to sacrilege and cause disaster in the future. How, Father? You are the youngest princess. You're supposed to get married to the crown prince and become his queen in Umudike. Why the crown princess of Odo get married to the youngest, uh, youngest uh, prince and both them will rule Umazo? Father, see, honestly, I do not understand what you're talking about. Like, seriously, why wouldn't the elder ones marry each other and then the younger ones marry themselves too? That means you don't understand my explanation. Obviously, I do not. And I think you should just make it a little bit clearer. Good. You are the Ada. The Ada of the house get married to the youngest prince. Why the youngest princess get married to the crown prince? Oh, okay, that's fine. I understand you now, but with the situation that we have found ourselves, there's nothing anyone can do about it. We will just let everything remain just the way it is. No, the gods will be provoked. But Father, the gods can be appeased. I mean, my sister and I would not be able to live with the memories of sharing our husbands. You are not going to share your husband. You're only going back to the uh, original plan of things. Unfortunately, it's too late. No time is too late for doing the right thing. After all, the, uh, your sister has not met with the, your, uh, the prince. Or did you? No, I don't get it. So I am going to be the one to bear this entire burden all alone? Is that it? There is no way I am going to accept this. I won't. I won't accept this. <sighs> um... Please, my daughter, take it as a request from your father. I am only appealing. Father, I would rather lose my crown as the crown princess than have my body, soul, and womanhood battered like that. Like, I mean, I've been through enough already. I'm so sorry, my dear sister. I'm sorry for all the pain that I have put you through. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to take your place. You haven't taken my place. Either ways, both of us will still be queens of the lands and we would rule. What matters most is that our father's throne is secured. And that's it. That's exactly what we have done. Listen, my daughters. Let's not back more than we can chew. This thing looks like nothing that has the capable of destroying the royal lineage we are trying to secure now. Father, father. When that time comes, I would rather seal that loophole with my blood. Uh, you know you're not good at guessing, right? Okay, wait, let me try again. Your last chance. Uh, <laughs> try. Um, Queens and Kings High School. <laughs> You know, babe, isn't it funny that um, we just accepted the marriage without even getting to know each other very well, you know, getting acquainted. It just happened. Thing is, everyone was angry, irritated, and... and uh, thank God we're here. So what do we call this? Love. Divine connection. <laughs> Um, Your Highness, I just wanted to find out if you need anything. No, we're fine. Thank you. Are you sure? Very sure. Just let me know if you need anything. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Alright. Don't be like that. Come on. Stop now. to discuss and agree before we meet with the prince in SK Market Day. You know, we need to start making preparation for his initiation into the Umudike uh, Royal Secret Masquerade before his coronation. Ba, 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 ba. Ba, no. eh, there are things to resolve eh, before we start talking about coronation or uh, initiation. <laughs> Ichi, I don't understand you. Is there any other thing more important in this kingdom than the coronation and the uh, uh, initiation of the prince? 
But have you forgotten that Chief Elugu said that the prince has a case with the gods? <laughs> I think uh, 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 am I making a mistake? <laughs> Chief Elugu. Chief Elugu, with all those fake promises, unverified uh, prophecy. It's, it's not, forget about uh, Chief Elugu. Is he the ego of this kingdom? Is he the Igwe? But I think he's talking uh, based on what he heard. What did he hear? Forget about uh, Chief Elugu. Oh, oh, oh. Let's go where we are going. Forget, forget about him. It's not important. Yes! We have to do the needful. Okay. Oh, how? I'll leave this for you. Oh, no. I have to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's be about Okay, my friend. Leave us. Hmm. Somebody suddenly have my time because I troubled his water. Oh, really? I see. <laughs> so you think you get my attention? By doing all this, eh? you know I am not an attention seeker. I want more than that. Unfortunately, you fail to realize that you cannot get what you seek. I will get it. You know I will get it. And I warn you for the last time. You see that stone you played out there? Don't try it again. Don't. I will do more. Are you walking out of here? We're cleared. Introvert? Not really. But I only go out when it's necessary. Well, I hang out to have fun sometimes when I'm bored. And right now, this place is really boring. It's kind of like suffocating me. Then go out. Get some fresh air. No one is stopping you. We are a couple. We just got married. So if we both go out together, spend some time together, I'm sure we'd have memories that would live to cherish. Look at us. Aren't we spending time already? <coughs> Are we? Look, Princess. I'm having a wonderful time. I'm good. If you're not, you can go out. Anywhere you want to go. Anywhere. No one will stop you. As a matter of fact. Please get the car ready. My wife is going out. Don't you want to go out again? Oh no, it's not so serious on phone. It's not like an emergency. Yes, there is. There's an issue we need to address before our labor go in vain. <sighs> this sounds dangerous. Stop keeping me in suspense. What is it? I think uh, the elders have decided that they are going to suspend the coronation of Prince Festus. And why would they take such decision without telling me first? 
I see it as a plot to take over the throne. What are their reasons? Uh, he a logo, claimed there's a prophecy against the prince that he will not have an heir. The elder decided that his wife, the princess of Umezu, must be pregnant first or better give birth to a male child before his coronation. How come he's the only one that knows about the prophecy? Well, he is the only person with the late king when that prophecy was given, if there was any. Thank you so much for that information. My queen, I, are you just leaving me like that? Oh no, her. This is not time for pleasure. Okay, so you'll go select fresh fruits for me. If you do not find fresh ones, come back. I'd rather ask Pius to go to the market tomorrow. Okay, but my princess, what kind of fruit should I buy? Oh, pineapple, oranges, papa, and uh, avocado pear. Okay, my princess. What about watermelon? Cool, you can add that too. Okay, my princess. Make sure you don't take time. Yes, my princess. All right. Thank you. What did she ask you to buy? And what kind of stupid question is that? Are you stupid? Have you forgotten that I am the chief chef of the palace? You cannot bring anything eatable without my permission. So what did she ask you to buy? Are you drunk? Amara, so you're challenging the princess order. If you repeat after me, I will choke you. Are you mad? <laughs> if anything happens in this palace, I am going to be questioned. I overheard her telling you that she wanted fruits. There's a lot of fruit in that fridge. You cannot go out to get anything. Hmm. Not without my permission. Amara, can I have the money? Don't so that I can give it back to her. You cannot give it back to her. Don't worry about it. Amara, are you okay? What's wrong with this girl? Amara, come back here! Ow. <laughs> nice. Ah. Yeah. Um, babe, your phone is ringing. You don't want to take it? Yeah, I'll call back later. Mm -hmm. I'm enjoying this quiet moment with my husband. And I don't want anyone to disrupt it. <sighs> I'm having a good time too, but I don't even want distraction. I know. Right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, easy, 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 easy. easy, easy. <laughs> Oh, yes, that's it. <laughs> Uchenna. Yes, mother. You have not visited your in-laws since you married the princess. No, mother. First of Mom? This meeting for you. Okay. What about? Someone has a conspiracy to take over the throne from you. Really? Tell me, mother. Who do you think is behind this? So we are not going to fight. But there's something I want you to do for me. 
What is it? I want you to visit Chief Eliogo. Present him with another women gift. Then talk about your coronation. I'm sorry, Mom, I don't understand. I thought Onoha was the main man here. Yes. But Eliogo is a cat. Is that white card that we need to present a suspicious poison? The fear of death would not allow him to bite. Mm. The guy is so dry. Dry in the real essence of the word dry. Like there's nothing interesting about him. My dear sister, you just have to find a way to make yourself happy so you don't die of depression. That's exactly what's pissing me off. Like, how can I be married at the same time I feel so lonely? This is really sad. You know, that makes me want to rephrase my husband's quote. I think I'm beginning to believe in fate. Because if I were to be in your shoes, trust me, I will make sure he feels the ache too. Trust me, I'll definitely come to that. But right now, everything just irritates me. Irritates me to the point that I just feel like packing my things and going out of his room. No, you can't do that. You know, that would raise eyebrows. Okay, what then would you have me do? Um, honestly, I don't have an answer to that right now, but I am certain I'll come up with something. I just hope that happens before I eventually die of depression. I... What's wrong with this man? He won't just let me sit in this dry marriage and just have peace. I know that, father. Like this man, this old man calls me like I'm holding his kidney. <laughs> he actually called me earlier today to guess what I did to him. I blocked him. Okay, now that's unfair. He's still your father, remember? Of course I know, he's a father, but come on, I mean, I just figured out that's the only way I can have peace of mind. You're impossible. Please just leave me. My head is so choked up with this mess I got myself entangled in. I hope so. My prince. It's you. Your Highness. This one you people have seen me today. Yeah? It's you. You're my father. Is it now a wrong thing for a son to visit his father? <laughs> no, 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 I didn't say that. Yeah. But this is indeed a very royal visit. Ha! Huh. Thank you, Ichi. Well, Ichi, my wife and I are here to thank you for the role you played in our marriage. Thank you for your support. <laughs> you don't have to mention that, Your Highness. Yeah? You see, you made us proud. Really proud. In fact, we are very happy with you. Yeah? Very, very happy. Um, Hi. My wife and I also wish to inform you that we have uh, reached out to a traveling agency to prepare a Canadian visa for your son. He will be going abroad to further his studies. Wait, Mike, my son? <laughs> hey! Get it! And uh, this is a charity project that I and my wife have decided to take on to help the young people of this community. Anyone that wishes to travel abroad to study can now travel. This is wonderful. Bamu! <laughs> yeah? it, it is actually a scholarship program that uh, we want to use to help develop this town. Exactly. Hey, this is wonderful. Much more than we ever dreamt of. Yeah? In fact, God will bless you people. He said. Yeah? God will multiply you with children. He said. Hey, in fact, your union will be very, very fruitful. He said. Yeah? Your days will be long. He said. And in fact, your reign will be the most peaceful. He said. Hey, <laughs> your highness. Ichi. This is wonderful. Um, yeah? Now that you mentioned rain, I, as you know, I am now married. So I wish to know, what is the next plan? What is your plan for my coronation? Um, <clears throat> Your Highness, 
uh, as you know, the final decision does not lie in my hands. I'm not the one to take the final decision on that. Ichi, uh, when I say you, I meant the Council of Elders. Um, what is the next plan? Uh, uh, Your Highness, you see, as we speak, no conclusion has been reached yet on that. Uh, but I would advise that you be present in our meetings, in fact, all our meetings, uh, so that uh, uh, everything will be worked out. Ichie, you people told me that I'll be brought into the meeting when my presence is needed. Why then was the last meeting held without my presence? <laughs> Your Highness, uh, disregard that meeting. Uh, ignore it. Listen, that meeting was a mere formality. Eh? The real discussion, where the decision on this will be taken, will be held on a Kemake day, and you'll be there present. All of us will be there. Eh? Don't worry about that. Mama, get out of my room. <laughs> You're sounding like you don't want me here. What is wrong with you? What are you thinking? You think I will condescend to this? On my matrimonial bed? Hmm. Well, I have been here before. Listen, I don't care if you've been here or not. Alright? And I don't care if we've been doing this before I met my wife. She is the chosen one and I need you to respect that fact. If you don't stop this, I will stop giving you your allowance. Baby, you think it's about money? You think it's about the money you give to me? Oh yes, you're trying. But I want more than money. I want you. Amara, get out of my room. Amara will always get what she wants. I have waited for too long. You're pushing me too far. Amara, you are pushing me too far. I will do something to you that I will regret. I will ask you, leave my room now or... Or what? Princess, I want to help you. How? And in what area? The council meeting tomorrow. What about the council meeting tomorrow? You see, it is late. And whoever sees us here now will think. Talk to me, Chief. What is going on? What is the matter? You see, at the meeting tomorrow, when this topic is raised, please agree to take another wife. It's very important. Please. Is that why you called me out here in the dark? Uh, you see, my prince, I only wanted to make you understand the seriousness of this matter. It's very, very serious. All right. Um, come with me. My queen is here. <laughs> How are you? Very well. I have missed you. I missed you too. How are you? Great. So tell me, how was your outing? Awesome. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I had so much fun. Really? Mm -hmm. That's good. And you, how did you do while I was out in the Sweetie, track? nothing much. You know, I miss you now. Mm -hmm. I watch TV. I press my phone. Few brandy. Just that? Mm -hmm. Just that. Boring. I know, yeah. I know. <laughs> okay. Yes. <sighs> I want us to talk. Talk? About what? About us. Our intimacy. What about it? Babe, we just need to talk about 
our sexual intercourse. Oh, come on, babe, listen, listen. I don't want you to put yourself in any kind of pressure, all right? We can still have this going on for us and still wait for your time. Like, I'm fine with anything. Babe, no, you're not getting it right. What I'm actually trying to say is that I am dazed at the fact that we have this kind of strong connection, strong bond, without, you know, sexual intercourse. And it kind of scares me. I'm afraid that it will push you away. No, 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 listen, babe, listen, listen. I'm not going anywhere. You know, sometimes I used to ask myself, I'm like, is this me? How will I love you this much? And I mean, without any sexual attachment. And then again, I realized that you're God sent. Maybe God sent you to me just to change that notion about what I had in the past, you know, what I had in my mind. Now I understand that I love you so much. I am fine. Come on. Great. Awesome. And it makes me love you every day that passes. I love you so much, Adugo. I love you too. I love you. So much. <laughs> No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's fine. <sighs> mm. It's all right. I will make sure I tear down that rubbish connection they are building. I will not let go of you easily. I must fight this fight. After all, I have nothing to lose, whether I win or lose. <laughs> Back. Where did you go? It's all right. Fine. If you don't want to talk about it. Ah. Uh, there's this game I downloaded. It's a thing we play together. It's for two. Okay. Yeah. But you know, I don't have time for things like this. What exactly are you talking about, mister? Are you referring to me? What exactly do you do with your quiet time if not playing games like this? So why is this one different? Why can't you play games with me? Can you hear yourself? My quiet time is not our quiet time. I play the games I like with my quiet time. You play the games you like with your quiet time. We must not compromise everything. I do not blame you. You're just a frustrated, unromantic, useless bastard. That's what you are. Thank the gods who made this arrangement possible. Because if not, a man like you should just end up with a woman who is not interested in anything else other than his money. Rubbish. Oh my God. Nonsense. Sometimes I wonder. Couples that celebrate 50 years anniversary, how did they do it? Women are so dramatic. How did our fathers do it? Oh my God! A romantic fool. That's what you are. Honestly, mother, I must confess. I am not enjoying this marriage at all. Like, Festus spends almost his entire time playing games. He barely even talks to me. We are like... Complete strangers. Tabiri. This time everything will be all right. You two will get to know each other better. You are his wife. Be patient with him. Okay? You will be fine. Okay, mother. I am so going to vent my anger and frustration on that cheap, silly little thing. You know what I keep wondering is, what is giving her the audacity? Okay, sad and bitter as this may sound, but the truth is, that girl is your husband's puppet. Because all this 
that she's doing, she's just seeing herself as a rival. That's not possible. Uchina is too polished for such. I know this is not going to sound really interesting to the ears, but trust me, every action of hers is based on rivalry. Nonsense. Uh, uh, this way! Hurry up! My face! My face! On your knees! Right now! Your hands up! Look at you! Initially, my plan was to ask the guards to flog you, but I am so going to do that myself so that I flog you like a little child that you are. Shut up! Don't say anything! Your hands up! Right now! Nonsense! Get your face! Amara, what's the problem? You asked to see me. Your wife. And Queen in waiting flopped me. What did you do? What do you mean by what did I do? Am I their slave? No. I will not let this slide. I will lay a petition against them. <laughs> a petition? I'm very, you're very funny. You will lay a petition against who? Greetings. I am nobody's slave. I will not be treated like a slave. I refuse to be treated like a slave. I am not scared of anyone. Amaria misbehaving. You're beginning to misbehave and it's irritating me. You have to be careful. Don't tell me to be careful. I will not be careful of anybody. I am not scared of anyone. Now listen to me. Keep quiet and listen. Amara, if you feel because of the fling we had in the past, that will make you misbehave. You better watch it. Because you will end up getting yourself into a bigger problem. Stay away from Adugo. She will crush you. Get the car washed. Yeah, yes. Hey, my prince. Yes. Look, I understand. Mm. If you heard what I said, I just stopped over the car wash. I wish to get my car squeaky clean. Yes. Okay. That's not something we can discuss on okay, the phone. Yeah. I, will, I will get to you very soon. Okay. Listen. Okay, put her on the phone. Hello. I want to have a discussion with both of you. That's fine. I hope there's no problem, Mother. No, there is no problem. I just want to um, educate you a little about motherhood, queenship, and um, a little discussion about your bedroom activities. That is if you don't mind. Why? We do not mind, Mother. It would be a privilege and an honor to learn from you. You see, I've been wanting to have the discussion long time ago, but um, at the same time, I decided to allow you both to settle down first before we have this discussion, okay? Uh, because I'm seeing some lapses I need to fix. Uh, go ahead, Mother. I must commend you too uh, for your firmness. And you two have something that I admire so much, which is wisdom. You see, wisdom is a virtue that every queen needs to rule without scorn. Uh, but there's something else I need to talk about. What is that, mother? The mother hen virtue. Mother hen virtue? Uh, yes. Being a queen makes you also a mother. 
As I've been a mother, you're not only a mother to your children here, you're a mother to your husband, to everyone in this palace, and even the ones outside this palace. They are your subjects. So it's your duty to take care of their welfare, to protect them, take care of their security, whatever it is that you will do to make sure that all these are intact, it will help your husband to rule. So that's why you have to be a very good mother to all. I perfectly understand. Well understood. And one more thing. Every queen must sit at the right side of her husband. It's so because that is how the gods made it. And you must protect that seat with everything in you. Make sure no one takes away that position from you. And there's one more secret I need to share with you. Prince Uchenna, if I die, my blood will be on your head. Amara! What are you trying to do? That in your hand. Mara, am I not talking to you? Let me see. Stop it! No way. Stop! No. No. Uh, your Majesty! What? Your Majesty! Yes, what is this? Speak. Your Majesty, it's Amara. Yes, what is wrong with Amara? My princess. Take the tree. Thank you, my princess. Thank you, my princess. Uh, Chibuzo, will come back here. My princess. You will go take your things from the special maiden's room and move to the general maiden's room. Ah, my princess! Please, what is my offense? Please, I beg for your pardon. Please, please. Get up. Please. please. Get up. Okay, my princess. You did not offend me. You're going there for a mission. Thank you, my princess. Thank you for counting me worried to carry out your assignment. Thank you. Eh? Uh, yes, so that's what happened. She almost stabbed herself to death, even though that I rushed in and mm. hold her. Hey, hey! You won't believe it. Hey, so she wants to take her life all because of Prince Uchenna. But what Prince Uchenna did was wrong. How can he treat a lady like that? It's no good if it is me. Though it won't be me because I will not take my life because of man. You know now, you know. Because he's not the only man on this earth. There are so many fishes in the river. I will not try it. Trust me. <laughs> I won't though. I will not. And I know that what Prince Uchenna did was wrong, but that will not make her to take her own life all because of Prince Uchenna. I will not take my life too. Me, yeah, I will not. But anyway, go and check. <laughs> Something's on the fire. Go yes, and check. Next time, okay? Okay. See, See you me. later. So, Mom, that was the outcome of the meeting I had with the Council of Elders. <sighs> that is a no no for me. No no what? You can't bring another woman into this family. Your great-grandfathers never did. Even at that time, polygamy was for the rich. But they never introduced that to their lineage. So you're not going to start that now. Mom, you sound as if I find pleasure in any of this. Then how then you jumped into it as if it's something you've planned all this while? I agreed because they were going to use the prophecy of the seer to take away my birthright. And you know it. Come on, son. You will not bring another woman into this family. Mother. If it's about your best right, you sitting on the throne, no one will take that away from you. 
I promise you. Mother, I am not going to have back and forth with you. I have given the elders my word and it stands. You cannot lord over me. You are not bringing another woman into this family. I am your mother. I will not sit and watch you take a disastrous decision that will affect this family. Come on, sir, let me even ask. The woman you married barely three months ago, how well have you lived with her? Mother, Talk less of bringing another woman into this family. It doesn't matter. I can always build another relationship with Princess Dabere. It's not an excuse. Okay, let me shock you, son. Do you know that the prophecy we are talking about is about you and the princess, and not the princess alone? I don't understand. The prophecy says that you two cannot have an heir. And that you should be careful not to destroy your way to parenthood. How come I'm just knowing about this now? Because your father that was supposed to tell you this is no longer alive. That's why you're hearing it now. Wait. So it doesn't matter if I marry another woman or not. The prophecy is about me and the throne. Exactly. That means I don't have to marry another woman. All right, I will call for an emergency meeting and tell the elders this part that they missed. No, no, no. So you won't do that. Why, Mom? Why? If I don't tell them, they will make me marry another woman. You are not going to marry another woman, son. These old men have chicken brains. So what do we do? If you tell them this, they will think that the gods have displaced you and will begin to shrink for that throne. You scheme to take that throne away from us. Mother, okay, what, what, what should we do? See, son, you will have to marry another woman because of your coronation. Mother, you're, 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 you're confusing me. What if the new wife does not conceive after marriage? What then happens? Son, don't worry. Before then, you would have been the king. We'll look for her to break this bridge after we cross the river. Okay? With you. Thank you, Mom. Thank you for always having my back. I love you. I love you too, son. in the matter I'm fine what do you want not in my princess I only came to inform you that your father is on his way here what yes my princess the chief guard called me and asked if you and princess Dabere are around with your husbands he also said that the king is on his way here with two elders thank you I need to call father right away I am coming to correct the mistakes you and your sister have refused to correct. Father, there's no point. You need to go back. We will come and see you tomorrow at Umwezu Kingdom. I am not seeking your permission, daughter. You don't have to come to Umwezu unless you're coming to prove to me that you've done what I asked you to do. All right, my sister and I will do as you have instructed. Okay. If you don't have any other business here in Umudike Kingdom, I think you should just go back. Good. First thing tomorrow morning, I want you and your sister in Umazu with a proof that you have done what I commanded you to do. All right, Father. As instructed. What's up, sis? There's fire on the mountain. What's the problem? Father was coming here with two elders to come expose our little secrets. What? 
What's wrong with father? Why does he want to ruin everything? You know the funny part? I just had a bad dream about this just now. Are you kidding me? <sighs> you know what? We can't wait till tomorrow to go to Umezu. We're going to go there right now. All right. Okay. I'll drive. No guards, no maids. Just hold on. Let me get my car key. Okay. Be quick, please. My love. Amara, you're misbehaving. You're really misbehaving. How? What is all this you're doing? I mean, how can you explain all these things? You're beginning to raise suspicions. Don't you get it? It's your fault. How? It is your fault. And I'm asking how? Because since you married that princess, you just left me. You left me hanging. We, we, no, we no longer relate the way we used to. You no longer come to my room. We don't, you don't sleep with me anymore. I don't even get you. How do you expect us to continue to do the things that we do when I am happily married? Okay. Don't you get it? Hmm. I am married. So I need you to respect yourself, all right? Stop all these things. And if you continue doing all these things, I will send you out of this palace. You will what? You hurt me and that's not a threat. Respect yourself. I don't want to be an adulterous husband. I love my wife. The love is gradually growing. I don't want to do anything to hurt her. Don't you get it? Respect yourself. On one condition. <laughs> Amara, you know you have so much guts. You have the guts to to condition me, the prince. Okay. Well, you lost that respect when you started sleeping with me. So don't expect me to give you a royal treatment. You're crazy. You like me crazy. Well, you will keep relating with me. Well, you will keep sleeping with me and give it to me anyhow I want it. That's the condition. No, it's not happen because we're done. Now listen to me. The last time we had it, I didn't enjoy it. You lie. I didn't. I was just fighting with myself. And that's because I was regretting everything. So I told you now, we are done. But you have two options. Either you deal with it and stay, or you get out of this palace. I will warn you again. I am the one who deserves to be used and loved. Is that what you're trying to tell me? Are you trying to tell me that we are done? We are not done. We are done. We are not done! You can't just adopt me! <sighs> Father, do you know that this thing is capable of displacing us as princesses and make us lose your throne? I prefer to lose my throne than to leave a calamity behind for my successor. Father, this is the same throne that we suffered so much for. The same throne that we sacrificed our happiness for. You want us to lose it just like that? You and your sister choose to be unreasonable. So I have to do what I have to do. All right, it's okay. It is not okay. I will not accept it. You want to bring it on? Go ahead. Oh yes, come to Umudike and wash your dirty linen in public. Then let me see how your feet will take you back to Mwezu. Since you have forgotten that I am an old man, I have lived my life and rule with prestige. If I die today and leave this earth, I die a honorable man. It is you, it is you that will live the rest of your life in shame, probably on a side. I don't know about you, but there's no way I'm going to allow that thus my life around his political career like I'm some pack of cards. You know, I didn't know father is this selfish. He is so, so selfish and extremely wicked too. And this is the last time we are going to see him. Truth be told, we changed the code. How do you mean? Very simple. We just make it very impossible for him to identify any one of us. 
But you know that is actually impossible. He single-handedly raised us to the women that we have become today. So how would it be possible for him not to identify us? Ah, yeah, that's true. We just have to find a way to silence him. What way exactly? I don't know how, but we just find a way. Okay, come on. Are you going to die a dejected princess? I'd rather commit suicide than move around with that kind of stigma my entire lifetime. All right, sis, whatever it is you come up with, you have my support. This is our fight and we'll fight for ourselves. Was that all you had? They didn't discuss anything else? Yes, my prisoners. That's all they discussed. All right. Thank you. You may leave. You're welcome, my princess. Thank you, my princess. <laughs> Greetings, my prince. Greetings. Hey, princess, how are you? <sighs> how are you doing? Fine. You don't look like you're fine. What's the matter? There's nothing wrong with me. I'm fine. You see, I know something is wrong. Unless you don't want to tell me. There's nothing I want to talk about. I have mood swing. <laughs> Husband? Are you sure about this? Yes, my princess. I heard the chief guard discussing with one of the elders that came with the prince. Why is he hiding it from me? I don't know, my princess. <laughs> is the queen aware of this? Yes, my princess. He said it was the queen that commanded the arrangement for the gift of the coming of the new wife tomorrow. They are mad. They are indeed mad. Why would they even think of doing such a thing to me? I'm sorry, my princess. <sighs> you may leave. Okay, my princess. What sort of man are you? Do you have any atom of respect for me at all? Princess, please calm down. Don't even tell me to calm down. Don't tell me that. What's wrong with you? So you actually had the intention of bringing someone into this house without telling me. Look, I am yet to accept. I'm still trying to figure out a way around it. Don't even tell me that. That doesn't justify the fact that you did not tell me. Well, I don't know what else to tell you. Fine. Since you do not know what else to tell me, I know what to tell you. And what I have to tell you is this. You are not going to bring in any woman into this house. Not when I'm still trying to find my place in your life. You're my wife. And the queen in line of Umudiketa. What other place do you want? Your heart! Festus! Your heart! How about building a loving relationship? How about that? Oh, don't even tell me that all of this was a ticket to the throne! Oh, please, don't even blackmail me emotionally. You married me because of the throne too. So this is how I am going to live my life? Just like this, right? This is it. No, 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 wait, wait. Is this the reason behind your red attitude towards me? Is this it? You know, sometimes I wonder, and I'm sure you wonder too, how did God create women like this? You can say whatever it is that you want to say. My point remains, you will not bring in another woman to this house. And I mean it. I am the crown prince of Umudiketa, and soon to be king. I can marry as many 
many, many wives as I want. And none from my mother can stop me. So, don't dare. I will not only dare you. I dare you not to dare me. You will not bring another woman into this house. And I will never share my bed with another woman. My princess. My princess. Mom, are you aware of this? Yes. But I never knew that he didn't tell you. So you're in support of this? Yes, my dear, because this has to do with the throne of his father. Mom, why would you support a thing like this? This is completely unfair to me. I'm a new bride and should be treated as such. I haven't even enjoyed my marriage and then jingles, another woman is going to be popping up from nowhere. I don't even subscribe to polygamy myself. But in this situation, after his explanation, he has to save the throne. I am not in support of this and I am not going to give my consent. But your husband already made up his mind before he told me. I have given my all in the quest to uphold the custom of our ancestors, which is to keep the throne of Odu as one. This one you sent for me. I hope all is well. All is well or no. Just that I'm having a strange bother this lately. I thought I'd discuss it with you. Your Highness, what bothers the great uh, king of Umasu Kingdom? Well or no, I don't know how it will sound to the council members. But I want to hear your opinion first before I relate it to them. My king, you can always rely on me. Speak up. Okay. Thank you so much. Um, I've been thinking about my son-in-law, Prince Uchenna. How to bring him close to our people, at least to be used to us, before he was sent the truth. <laughs> Your Highness, this is a very good one. And I'm sure that the Council of Elders will appreciate it too. It will give us the opportunity to bring him close to us so that he will know us and he will be able to know our culture before he ascends the throne. But you know that we still have little differences, though we claim to be one. Yes, Your Highness. Yes. Yes, yeah. Oh no, I'm so sorry. I had an emergency to handle. Sorry. How are you doing? Ah, uh, I'm fine. Uh, where is she? She's outside. You, you left her outside? How could you do that? A queen to be outside? I thought uh, it's okay, let me get someone to get her in. Uh, where is that? Dad! Dad! Yes, okay, please go out there and get me the maiden standing in front of that door. I thought we were going to have our discussion first before breaking her. Oh no, this is not time for pleasure. Let's, uh, let's face this first. <laughs> what is this? Ah, Bianca, the young lady we talked about. Oh, uh, Dad? Uh, take her, take her out. Go, 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 go! Go! How could you do a thing like this? How could you bring a local pig in my palace? How? My queen, that is beautiful. Beautiful? 
beauty means different things to different people. Oh no, if... Can you sleep with that girl? How can you call that thing beautiful? That pig? See, see, you are my person. I cannot recommend something that is not good for you. That girl will make a good one. Oh no, come on, stop it! Stop it! My son is married. My son's wife is classic. Beautiful. Very well packaged. Let's to bring something that could at least fit in a little bit. If not up to the standard. And you want and bought a local pig. How? I know you're a classical queen. Eh? Don't worry, I have a plan B. Hello? You are to your highness. Good afternoon. Your face looks familiar. Who are you and where are you from? Your highness, you do know me. My name is Bianca. Oba's sister. Your car wash guy. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I see. How are you? I'm fine, your highness. Good. So how is your brother? He's in work. Ah, it's been a long time. I don't really go out with my driver that often. Okay, uh, send my regards to him when you get home. Okay, he will hear, sir. Okay. Bye bye. Are you aware that the kitchen head has your picture on her phone as screensaver? Do you mean, Amara? There's only one kitchen head in this palace. Condole the rule. I, I just wanted to be sure. Are you also aware that she's crushing on you? How did you know that? I mean, I saw your picture on her phone. I questioned it. And she said you bought the phone for her. Listen, I don't know what you're talking about. All right? What you're saying doesn't even make sense. Wow. What I'm saying doesn't make sense. Okay. I'm going to spell this out. I have always had this belief that there's something going on between the two of you. So I decided to ask. And uh, what? And do what? Hmm? And change towards me. Okay, this is why you change your attitude, right? All the cold attitude towards me, this is the reason. But I'm asking you. Come on. Let's forget about this. You see, that girl has been rubbing shoulders with me in the Spanish. She acts like I'm her rival. And that got me questioning a lot of things. Yes, questions like, what was the relationship you had with her before I came into this palace? I mean, you got her phone. What's the connect? Listen, babe, it doesn't make sense and it's not worth it. It's not worth the energy. Can we just forget about this, please? I want to know. Okay, um, you see, the thing is, she used to run some special errands for me, right? You know, one or two occasions, and, you know, she lost her phone, so I just decided to replace it, and that's it. Would I be asking too much? If I dig deeper to find out what the special errands that she runs for you are. Are you for real? Babe! Please. I want to know why the prophecy is against me. What have my wife and I Done to Chukwu Kiki Abiyam. That is so angry with us, even before we come together. What have we done? My son, time, circumstance, and living are determined by Chukwu Kiki Abiyam. 
He has a plan for man. And he works according to his plan. Nobody can question him. That is why he is called Chukwokeka Biyama. Nay, please indulge me. You speak in parables. What are you trying to tell me? The sun has decided to set from the south this season. Go home, my son. It is well with you. Thank you, Nai. What is your counsel concerning the elder's demand for me to marry another wife? Man proposes and Chukwo Kikabiyama disposes. I am so happy <laughs> that you accepted the sacrifice. Yes. I'm happy, son. Mom, I am happy as well. Now I am saved from the elder's demand for another wife. It's over. I know, son. So, see, I have always known that Shifeliogu had another plan. When he came up with this drama of you having a second wife, I knew there was something behind it. Oh. But I want to plead with you that we flow with him and know where he's going to. No. No, 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 mom. No. Please, I, I don't want another game plan for a wife. Okay? I deserve true happiness. And I want to start building a happy relationship with Princess Dabere. So, I, uh, I didn't say that you don't deserve it. You do. But please, let's keep them there. At the right time, We'll put them in their right places. Okay? Just a little time. Please. Mom, I don't, I don't know. I thank don't, you. No, don't thank me. I don't... Are you sure about this? Yes. Thank you. Just a little time. I thought you said we're done. Why did you send for me? If not for the respect I have for you, I wouldn't come here. Keep quiet. Keep quiet. So what do you want? I want you to leave this palace. What? You heard me. Leave this palace. Listen, I'm saying this nicely because I don't want issues. Alright? So I just want you to leave the palace peacefully. I have better ways to do this. Okay. I can just relieve you of your duty and then throw you out. But I won't do that. So just pack your things and go. Please. <laughs> All this you're doing does not even make sense. I am talking to you nicely now. Please leave the palace. I don't want you to start saying, okay, maybe I used and I dumped you. This is not a case of using and dumping you. Just respect yourself and go. Please. Uh, uh, babe, you can't now. I can't let four years of our lives go down the drain. I won't let it just whisk away. You know you're my love. You're everything to me. I'm not going anywhere. You just, you just have to. No. <laughs> have to stop crying. I don't like the way you keep crying for that fool. You need to stop. Crying is a sign of weakness, remember? Why would he treat me like this? Why? Honestly, at this point, I need to just call father. You don't have to bring father into this. I will stand by you. Let's show them who we truly are. Now, listen. Don't be scared. This is our fight too, all right? They need to understand that you have a duplicate right here in the palace beside you. Thank you. Now put a smile on that face. It scares your contenders when they see you glow in the midst of heat. Mm? Put them to fright, if possible, wow. 
trust me, I am going to so grow up, grow and devour the devourable. Trust me. Aha, uh -huh. that's what's up, sis. Okay. <sighs> You think being a high princess gives you the audacity to challenge me? Make no mistake. I will break you and I will put you in your place. Oh, really? Where's my place? What place are you actually talking about because I do not understand you? You're a woman. And your place is to tend to my needs. And make you have not made me your woman. Have you made me? No! Apart from tending to your needs, it is also my duty to support you to achieve your destiny, our destiny of ruling the people of this kingdom and taking this kingdom to greater heights. Now this decision of yours to take a second wife is not going down well with me because I am going to fight anyone or anything that dares to stand in my way. I will be queen not only in Umudike kingdom but Odu kingdom. <laughs> ah. Good luck fighting the Council of Elders. Because they are the masterminds behind this. You know, I for one don't even have any need for another woman. But your audacity, your guts, your arrogance has stirred up the old in me to prove to you that I'm a man. And I have the final say. Oh, go ahead and have the final say. But be rest assured that the wind will fan them away and you will see no trace of them. about what you saw. I, I saw nothing, my prince. Quiet. Why are you trying to make fool of me? Uh, I mean no offense, my prince, but I, I have chosen to erase whatever I saw from my mind in order to keep my sanity. So what you're trying to say is that you will say nothing to my wife, the princess? Like I said, my prince, I have erased everything. That's because I do not want Princess Edugo to be hot again. I saw the pain she felt when she saw your pictures on Amara's screen. My friends, telling her is like scratching the old wound. I do not want her to be hot again. Thank you. I mean, that's very thoughtful of you. I'll reward you. Just give me your account number. That would be necessary, my friends. There'll be no need for a reward, since I have not labelled for anything. Come on, listen. It's not like I'm just giving you this money. Hmm? It's just a sign of appreciation for taking care of my wife. Accept it. Hmm? Just accept it. No, my prince. I insist. Give me your account number. Okay. But on a condition. That you will never have anything to do with that swine again. I promise. Just call it out. Zero zero. Mm hmm. Three nine. Aww, this is so beautiful. These are. Oh my God. <laughs> Whoa! This is so lovely! Everything! Yeah. Thank you so much. You know, I didn't actually know that a man could have good eyes for lovely female stuff. Well, maybe that's because I was raised by a queen. Yeah, right. Yeah. And you do know how to treat me like a queen. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, I'm happy you, you love the gifts I got for you. Any woman who has taste and class would mm. love everything you got here. I really appreciate it. Thank you so Come on, much. It's nothing. You're welcome. <laughs> Come here. You deserve a kiss. Then give it to me. 
<laughs> hey, just that. Come on, don't be an Oliver Twist. <laughs> it's alright. But oh, baby, you know that three months is not three years, right? Someone <laughs> is finally speaking up. Of course I will speak up. Man, even the child that is crying. One day you always speak up. <laughs> yes. You will say I'm hungry when it's hungry. So, come on. Oh, you're laughing at me now, man. Let's do a replay with our kids. Come on. Now go away. Leave me. Like you don't like what I got for you. I love it. <laughs> before I knew it, like I was saying, before I knew it, ten, ten, a lot, hundred thousand naira. Eh? You don't mean it. Hundred thousand naira. As you know. Hey! I was shocked. But I have to maintain, coordinate myself so that they won't understand. Hmm? I trust you. So that was why I said, Mba, and then me spoiled us. <laughs> My <name to> go. <laughs> yeah, I know what you can do. Mm. Thank you very much for remembering me in your state of enjoyment. You can say that. Nah. Again. Hey. I can fold my hand. Eh? <laughs> you think I can fold my hand? I don't know. I can never fold my hand. Mm -hmm. I will do my job. And chop if it. Hmm? Mm -hmm. At the same time, oh. no darling, cha cha. But wait, though. Mm. What if it happen again, and your evidence is gone? What are you going to do? Ah, evidence. Mm -hmm. That account statement is the evidence. That's the real evidence. So don't worry. Enjoy yourself. Okay, oh. Mm. But Chibuzo, you have to be very, very careful. Yes. This one, you've joined them in their games. You have to be very, very careful before you put yourself into trouble. Yes, okay. I'm not there. Or... I won't put myself into trouble. Don't bother. Just enjoy, you know. Enjoy yourself. I shall my own. Oh. But see this year. I'm enjoying it. Enjoy. Let, Let me, me just again, quickly then. finish it. Who shall thank, thank you? Why will I say thank you? Please, you may sit down. Today, I, King Agumba Okago, of Umudu Kingdom in uh, Umwe's town, want to step down for Uchen now. Yes, as the rightful kingship 
of Umodo Kingdom. I am not stepping down because I am tired of ruling our people, but because I want to sit here, watch you make mistakes, and put you through them. Igrigi, Igrigi, go. Prince Uchenda, please step forward to the throne of the kingdom. Kneel before the throne of Odu Kingdom. Oh no. Your Highness. Please step forward and perform the crown of rights. Okay, then what I can like. I have I crown you as the king of Omar's kingdom, and here I hand over the authority of Azu kingdom over to you. I have crown him Tony Igwe. Igwe. like a wounded lion. Why would your father make my younger brother superior over me? Did I sell my birthright to him in any way? I am the first son of my family. The crown prince of Odu. Why would your father pronounce or rather declare Uchenna as the ruler of Odu Kingdom, thereby making me a lesser king to my brother? Why? That is the tradition. Omoezu is the head of rulership. So whoever marries the Adogo becomes the head of the kingdom. It doesn't matter if it's the last one. I know why your father did it. It's because he does not want the lordship of the kingdom to leave his town. But I swear I will bring it back here because it belongs to me. And I will not bow to my younger brother. Never! Never! Okay, now, I am your wife. But I will not sit here and have you talk about my father in such manner. I will not tolerate any form of insult. 
If you do not understand the rulership or tradition in Odu, why don't you go ask the council members? I will ask no one nothing! They make these rules and tell us they came from the gods so that we will tremble and live by them out of fear. No, not me. I am done with that bullshit. Uh -oh. I don't even know why I consented to all this in the first place. In this 21st century, tell me, who lives by such primitive, stupid tradition sent by a bunch of stupid illiterates? Who? Ah! So, because the tradition does not favor you, it has suddenly become primitive and stupid. <laughs> if you are my wife, you will stand by me and make sure we bring the lordship of the kingdom back here. Not sit there and be laughing sheepishly and, and lousily like a market woman. Are you mocking me? Are you mocking me? <sighs> Prince Festus. Now let me let you understand. I am very contented and comfortable with my position as queen here in Ontario. I don't have to be queen mother for me to make an impact. I can always make an impact from my own little end here. And I'll advise you, don't even think of power tussle with your brother. I will not only power tussle with him, I will fight him! That idiot comfortably took what belongs to me. And I will deal with him! Go ahead. <laughs> This is the key to the second room. Whenever you want to come in with your ancestors, you go in there. But remember, you must lock yourself inside and no one must see you going in. What's so special about this sacred room? It's for empowerment against every form of adversary. Whenever you face any challenges or difficult situation in your hands, you go in there and say your pains to your ancestors. You'll be amazed when you come out of that room to face the same uh, situation. You'll be amazed of the result. Father, if you don't mind, I will. I would love to, you know, see this room. Let mm. me just have a look and, uh, you know, know what is happening. I know you will be eager to see it. Don't worry, I will show you, but not today. Father, I... <laughs> The glow on my father's face gladdens my heart. <laughs> I am a fulfilled man, my daughter. And you, my daughter, and Uchenna are responsible for the glow on my face. <laughs> it pleases my heart to hear you say that, Father. <laughs> Come on. Father, we are happy. I mean, you are a source of uh, blessing to us. We appreciate you, Father. Thank, Thank you. you for everything. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Excuse me. Yes. Hello? Um, excuse me. Oh, my father. Uh. Yes, um, have you guys arrived yet? You think you're smart. I will show you that I'm not the first son of this family by mistake. I don't understand what you're saying. Have I done anything wrong? Why, why are you sounding like this? Give me back my birthright. Give me back my birthright. Onoshi, better pack your things and come back here. Because I'm coming to rule from that Onwazo as the Lord of Odu. Whether you like it or not, thief. What's wrong? Is everything alright? 
Everything is fine. Mother, indulge me. If a woman walks into this palace and claims to be the Queen Mother of Odu Kingdom, will you joyfully receive and congratulate her with your arms wide open? Son, I am occupying this position of the Queen Mother simply because the King lost his wife. I will be handing over this position in the next council meeting to Princess Ajugo. That throne is not yours. Bring your attention back to where you belong. I do not belong to mediocrity. But stardom. The Lordship is my right. And I will take it. Tell that to your son. First of all, you are looking for who to rob your ego on. I won't stop you. Go ahead and fight with your brother. Let me see where this lands you. I knew you would support him. After all, he's your favorite son. He must be very stupid to stand before me to see that nonsense. Don't go out there and get your coronation organized. Stand here and be saying nonsense. At least I wonder if I even gave birth to you. Mother! That's not fair. Get out. I said, leave my room. All right. Thank you. Thank you. To my presence. Hello, sis. What? Father is dead? Council elders of uh, Umudike Kingdom, on behalf of uh, our council elders, I welcome you all. My fellow council members of uh, Umezu, I welcome you also. Hello. Now that our father has gone to rest with his ancestors, I think it's time for us to call the seer 
in order to do the needful. What needful? Let the man be buried. What do you need a seer for? You want to find out if he is still coming back or not? How dare you interrupt me? Are you out of your mind? Huh? Christos. What? Well, what did you just call me? Huh? Listen, Festus. Just sit down or excuse us. You must be out of your senses. You must be stupid. Who put all of you there? Stupid people! The moment I become king, I will dissolve this council of elders. Stupid old fools! This is what you love this. Festus! 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 I am the first son of my father. And the crown prince of Umudike, which automatically makes me the crown prince of Odu and the rightful heir to the Odu lordship. Why then should I bow to my younger brother? Why? Do you people know how many years gap I gave this boy? Hmm? I was still in primary school when he came into this world. I can never bow to him. It is an insult to my destiny. <laughs> what is mm. funny? <laughs> huh? Jai. <laughs> Prince Festus, we all know that you are the first son of your father. There's not two words about that. Oh, I didn't know you know. That's why you have to remain in your father's kingdom as the heir to the throne of Umudike. Your wife is to move in with you, not you moving with her. It doesn't matter if I'm moving with Daberechi or not. What matters to me is the lordship of Odu. That is what I want. Simple. Stop beating around the bush. Uh, my prince, please. Forget about this argument. You cannot have it. Even if we want to make changes in our custom, not this. Yes. There is no way you will marry two sisters. It's not possible. My prince, that would be a sacrilege. Oh, well. Two sisters cannot sleep with one man. Neither can one man sleep with two sisters. That would be your mistake. That would be you people's mistake. Your sacrilege. Mm. Didn't you all think about it? That the rightful person to rule Odu is the crown prince of Omudike in the absence of an heir from Omwazo. Didn't you think about it? Mm. What is greater than the battle has visited is all. Oh, prince uh, Festus. I'm afraid we cannot be able to effect any change now. I plead with you to please allow the sleeping dog to lie. Listen, if we try to do that, the gods will be angry and calamity is likely to befall us. Exactly. Exactly. That is the point. Maybe you would have done this before you got married. Of course. It's already late. Of course. Of course, with the permission and consultations from the gods. Stop it! Enough! Stop all the lies and the deceit. You people have been using the name of the gods to, 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 to make us to do things that only favor your political dreams. Enough! Enough! <laughs> By the way, you usually offered sacrifice to the gods when you wanted the gods to change their mind on certain issues. Why can't that method be applied in this case? Oh, come off it, my brains. The situation here is quite different. I will be! The Lord of Odu. Find out what it takes. Whatever it is, I will pay. Ah. My prince, it may cost you your life. You cannot threaten me with that. I am ready to face the consequences if I'm wrong. Let the gods come after me. I will face them. Ah. 
Mi è cantato questo con tuo nonno? Grace Wango came to greet you. She's now pregnant. I want to thank you for the sacrifice and also apologize for the way I spoke to you the other day. What is your name? Uh, she, she is... Uh... I want to hear from her. Isn't it a shame that the seer of the kingdom does not know the name of his princess? What is this puzzle I am seeing about you? What puzzle? If you see any puzzle, you fix it. Aren't you the great seer? Yeah? Mother, I am not going to sit down here and listen to all of this. <laughs> Nothing is hidden under the sun. Yes. Ah. <laughs> uh, Woman, your apology has been accepted. Yes. The gods have nothing to do with her. Yes, you can go. Go. Who is this? Uh, Nena, she's the new kitchen head. Just drop it. The new kitchen head? Yes, your brother. What happened to Amara? Your brother requested for her, so she left this morning. What do you mean? So I don't deserve a good cook? Mother, have you seen it? Have you seen what I've been talking about? Uchenna is now displaying his authority as the head of Odu Kingdom over me, his own elder brother. Have you seen what I'm talking about? Have you people seen it? Why are you sounding this way? Maybe his cook is not cooking well. So he requested for a man to come and make his meal. He's your brother. Two of you are one. And who granted that request? Huh? I am the head of this household. What audacity does he have to order for my maid, my chef, without my consent? He's your brother. What belongs to you also belongs to your brother. He can take what belongs to you. You can take his own at the same time. I knew you were going to say that. I knew it. But don't worry. Because I will handle this by myself. Nonsense. What audacity! Look! This is my house and I'm in charge. Nobody comes here to tell me what to do or to order my staff around. Nonsense! Life na jaja, take a wire wire. Life na jaja, I take a so free so free. Oh, 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 have you forgotten it's the girls that you Where's my wife? She's still part of my life. 
Where? Did she go with her mate? I should use this opportunity to go and see that stupid girl. I need to talk some sense into her. She must leave before Adugo comes back. Why are you fighting for a throne that don't belong to you? Have you forgotten it's the girls that you king? If you are fighting, I... You are fighting in Venom. If you are pushing, I... You are pushing in Venom. Yeah, boy, yeah, boy, yeah, boy, yeah, boy, yeah. I want you to hit me. Yes. Insult me. Do whatever you want to do to me. But please, listen to what I have to say. I will not listen to you because you do not have anything to say. You have dealt with me for ages. How long will I continue to suffer pain from you? How long? There is no way I am going to bring in a child to come and experience this beastly nature of yours. There's no way. You do not deserve to be a father. You don't deserve it one bit. You are a wicked and useless, a very useless and foolish man. Fine. That's what you are. You are evil. You are supposed to just die a lonely man. Okay. All right. All right. I don't deserve to be a father. You're right, but what about you? Don't you want to be a mother? Look, you didn't tell me. I didn't know. I'm sorry. All I did was to secure the throne, believe me. You're a liar. There's no way you're even going to try to deceive me with your emotional blackmail. It won't work like right now. It won't work. You're a liar. Big fat liar. That is who you are. You don't even love me one bit. There is no atom of any feeling attached to this burden called marriage. I'm done. I am done. You can do your worst. Please, please. Get out of my way. Please. I've changed. I'm leaving. I promise. I'm a changed man. Please. I'm sorry. Three years down the line since we got married. Not even a miscarriage from you. The council are beginning to ask questions. I think we need to see a doctor because it's obvious there is a problem. And who says there's a problem? Oh, come on, babe. If there is no problem, then why are we like this? You and I know that the only reason the council are not mounting too many pressures right now is because of the influence of your father. There are limits to everything. Please, let's see a doctor. I understand. But let's just give ourselves some time. 
Some people get married for 10 years, 20 years, even more before having children. Yes. Children uh, are gifts from God. Can you just stop this? Stop it. Stop saying all this thing and face reality. Please. We need to see a doctor. It's obvious there's a problem. No, 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 babe. Listen. What have I said wrong now? What? I didn't say this thing to make you... Okay, it's fine. It's all right. Just come. It's okay. It's okay. It's all right. It's three years plus. I think it's time to give him a younger one. Younger what? <laughs> Please, don't even think in that direction. <laughs> Sis. I wish I never met that coward. Okay. Sis, you need to calm down right now. Okay? I don't want you to hurt yourself with those sad feelings. The memories have always been there. They never left. Look at me. A womless queen who is about to be tossed aside. Listen, Uchenna loves you a whole lot. And there's no way he's going to let that happen to you. All right? Just comfort yourself with the fact that he supports you. I feel he's beginning to swear. He might do the dreadful son. And you are just telling me? It happened just last night. Sis, I am broken. You know the tradition. You know how it is. The woman to produce the first heir becomes the queen. No, no, I am not. There's no way we're going to let that happen. Ah. Honestly, I'm confused. I know you have done a whole lot for me, but right now, I'm desperate and I don't know anyone else to turn to. You know, so... I am about to ask you for the impossible again. Sis, come on. You don't need to do all of this. Listen, we're twins. You're my duplicate. That means we're there for each other, right? So anything you want me to do, whatever it is, as long as it's going to put a smile on your face, then I'm ready. Tell me. Thank you. Thank you so much. Are you sure your ovulation is starting in three days' time? Yes, I'm very sure of that. I checked and confirmed with the doctor. You know, but sis, I'm kind of worried, right? What if I have to do this over and over again? What if it doesn't work? Don't worry. Just take the pills I gave you. The doctor assured me that it is the most effective fertility pill, right? And you need to take it three days to your ovulation. Okay? Hmm. Ne, I am super excited. I am so happy. Look at me now. Hey. So the princess of our kingdom has put to bed a bouncing baby boy. The kingdom now has an heir. Hey, I am super happy. I'm so excited for the princess. I need this is the kind of news we've been waiting for in a long time. Ah, hey. The queen will be on top of the world now with excitement. I'm telling you, Hi. the most interesting part of it is that there will be so much celebration. I can't wait. A lot to eat and drink. Nah, I cannot wait for that I day to come. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. My stomach is so empty. I cannot even wait for that. I can see you both don't have any other thing to do in this palace other than gossip. Go get out of here. I said, get out of here, myself. Get out. <laughs> Thank you for making me your father. <laughs> Listen, I don't want distractions. It may be important. I told you. Mm -hmm. Yes, hello? 
what the result of your fertility test to your mail. Oh, really? But you see, I might be just too busy to check, so why don't you tell me verbally? The result shows that you have a permanent testicle. <laughs> Doctor, please just spare me all this your medical grammar. Break it down for you me. You are infertile and will not be able to impregnant you. What? Are you serious? Yes, Your Highness. I made sure I cross examine the results. Um. I'll come and see you in your office. Is everything all right? Everything is all right. I have met with five different fertility doctors and all the results are the same. If I am truly infertile, how then did she so conceive? Could she have cheated on me? No. No. Adrugo is a vicious woman. She cannot cheat on me. Talk more of bringing a bastard to my house. Anytime I look at you, there is this joy that I feel inside of me. And that is because you have made me a happy man. Mm. A proud father. So I said to myself, why don't I do something that would smile on your face? <laughs> so I decided to, you know, give you a gift. Close your eyes. <laughs> Close it. Eyes closed. Sure closed. Closed. Open it. You sure? Yes. Ta da! This is a car key to a brand new car parked outside. Just oh my god, baby! <laughs> thank you, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. Oh my. <laughs> All right, let me go see. I know. Presence in the throne room. What for? I do not know, Your Highness, but I think the elders are here for the baby's naming because I saw the queen going in with the baby. They can go ahead. Tell them I'm not coming. Your Highness. My friend, will you get away from here? matter with you? What sort of rubbish are you trying to display? What is wrong with you? Why can't you ever be nice for once in your life? You can still make your points without shouting. Do you want to attract our guest and they will start asking what the matter is? Let them come and ask and I will tell them everything. I will let them understand that my life is so miserable that I am so sad. What am I taking out of this man? 
married. What have you done for me? After all the acrobatics that I give to you in the other room, what's my take? See, I'm tired. I am done being used. I'm tired. I just want to be loved. Who told you I don't love you? Then there should be proof for it. Yes! This is what people who love their wives do. Did you ask me for a new car and I refused to give it to you? Oh, really? I'm supposed to ask you to change that jalopy I've been driving since we got married before you know that you will change it, right? Why are you such an old, stereotype, old-fashioned junkie? Watch your tongue. Or what? What will you do? I give birth to the first child for you, a male child, an heir to the throne. What did you give me? Nothing came out of your hand. Not even a pin. Not even words of appreciation. Nothing. Fine. I gave birth to the second child again. What have you done to show appreciation? Nothing. Yet all you can do is organize some shabby, embarrassing child naming ceremony that even our ancestors, our forefathers in Japan, would not even think of such a shabby thing to do. Did you touch my substance? I would never! I'd rather die than become a junkie like you! Fine. It's okay. Let's just go back inside and we'll finish our child's naming ceremony. After which, I'll take you to a car mart where you can pick any car of your choice, no matter the cost. No expense spared. I don't blame you. Honestly, I don't know how I got into your life. I don't know how you got into mine, but that's fine. Wait. Get lost! Get out of my way! Cha 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 cha. Odu kelenu. Kelenu. Yeah. Cha 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 kelenu. Kelenu. Kelezwenu. Igwe, it's time for you to tell us the name of your prince. My elders, I greet you all. Igwe. committed sacrilege. Her hands are filled with wombs. She must confess, as the king will die. Please confess. Confess now. Let us hear you. Confess, please. I am Princess Adugo. Speak on, speak on. Um, we... We decided to swap our husbands. What is the meaning of that word? Talk to us in a plain language that we can all understand. I mean we we exchanged our husbands. Hey! Why do you exchange your husband? Are you trying to tell us that you don't like Prince Uchenna or what? Uh, this one is taking us to a different thing entirely. We're going to tackle the issue of how they did it. But for now, let us face the problem that is on ground. Uh, then, later we will discuss what they have done. And uh, Princess, uh, please, uh, can you tell us what you did that led to the king's bad condition? Well, speak up. Oh, no. You are a liar. It is a lie. We are not going to do that. 
Listen, we must start from the beginning so that everything will fall into proper perspective. Yes, she must tell us what happened from the beginning. Which beginning? You've heard from the seer. If a king stays too long in this condition, he will die. What she did was an abomination. The gods were silent for reasons best known to them. This present act has a result. It was I. Huh? I am the one who made her do what she did. My princess, you suffered uterian perforation due to the local herb you took in your attempt to abort your previous pregnancy. Doctor, are you saying I will not be able to conceive again? Huh? The fear of my husband finding out what I did treasured me into begging my dear sister here to sleep with my husband and conceive. So I got some fertility drugs which quickened the process and my sister took him. Fortunately, she took him with twins. So when she put to bed, she took the female child and she gave me the male child. Hey. Hey. Where's our one with Villa? Yare Yaba. Oh, Yare Job, Villa. I am on Bruce's own name. Cry a boy at the court, Anna. Anna Chono, two one on Canato. Who quen on Dozo, Balos on us. Hey, Ma, I got him. I got him. I got him. Utica Gada Gada. Who la to? Hey, even I am. We go to the Narisike, the symbol of love, peace, and everlasting life. Nko, eke, Oriye, Avo. Where's the Kunye? Where's the Kunye? Kunye, I'm not a bogo. Can you leave a bogo on the floor? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> we cannot allow those lousy elders to take the final decision. We need to decide what next step to take. My brother, I am broken. I don't know why she did what she did. I love Adugo. I mean, that baby. It hurts me so much. I mean, she would have just told me from the beginning to avoid all this mess. to take the throne away from our lineage. No, they can't. You know, I read through the chronicles of our ancestors and how our predecessors lived their lives. They cannot revolt against us because what happened is not with our knowledge. Can I read the chronicles too? I need to understand the rules so as to know where to base my argument. You don't have to argue with anyone. They won't even dare bring it up. The worst that can happen is we dissolve the marriage to the princess. A 
that decision is ours to make. I'm sorry. I know I do not deserve your mercy. But for the sake of my late father's labor, temper justice with mercy. Please. As you go, I want you to leave with your son. What do you mean? The child is not mine. I cannot father a son. What? I decided to play along because I have no choice. What do you mean you can't father a child? Why did you not tell me? Tell you what? I ask you again, tell you what? When you gave me the news of your fake pregnancy the same day, I had to play along since I have nothing to lose. You are evil. <laughs> what an audacity. You open your mouth to call me evil. After destroying your womb with the herbs that you took. Yes, I agree. I may not have shame. I made a very terrible mistake and I did everything that I could to make sure I fix it so that all of this does not get back to you. But what did you do? You just sat down receiving all the glory as if you were a man when you know you were not. You were not better than I am. Quiet. The difference is that I did not destroy my fertility with my own hands. Look at you. You gave yourself to a low life when you know you're supposed to get married to a prince. Were you not supposed to keep yourself? Were you not supposed to wait? You guys are sounding so personal. I don't think I want to hear more of it. <gasps> To go and see your brother. Let me know how he's doing, at least. Please, I'm begging you, please. Mother, you will not step out of this palace until I'm done with my investigation. So I'm not running away. Hmm. I will still come back here. Whatever you do with me, whatever that pleases you. I am ready to serve your punishment. But well, just allow me to go and see your brother. Let me see my son. Let me know how he's doing. I beg you. I'm not running away, please. You will only go out there and desecrate this palace more with your future self, thereby causing more problems to the issue at hand. Uchenna is fine. Although he doesn't know what you have done yet. Thank you. Thank you for not telling him. Thank you so much. Don't thank me. He will be told when the time is right. But this case, I am digging deep into this case. Because, because I'm having the feeling that this, this filthy act of yours was why my father died. No, 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 this relationship started after your father's death. Oh, 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 
So this did not even start recently. It's been years. <sighs> I was going to send him on an exile. But no. He will come and pay your bride price and take you to his house because you are no longer the Queen Mother of Umudike Kingdom but the wife of Onora. No. Please, sir, don't do this to me, please. Don't do this to your mother. For the sake of your late father, please. I'm begging you, please, don't do this. Please. You are this. What is it? <laughs> hey! Abomination. Ne? Who could have imagined that such atrocity will be happening in our very own palace? <laughs> Hey! Do you know that our very own queen is having an affair with Ichi Onoha? That is so disgusting. I know, right? The only thing I don't understand here is what interests the queen in Ichi Onoha. Because I, this is really despicable. Do you know that I even heard that this their affair did not just start today. That it started a long time ago. A whole queen of our land. This is so bad. But wait though. I heard something. How are we sure that Ichie Onora was not the one that connived to kill the king? Hey! Close your mouth. Do you want to implicate me? It is, it is all. The ones have ears all. But it's... Uh, it's possible. See, we have something to go and do in, in, in the kitchen. Let's Wait. relax. Eh? The thing is that I don't even know how the, how, how the, the prince is feeling now. Eh? I feel for that man. <laughs> oh, the prince, okay. He will be fine. Let's just go. I, eh, eh, I really feel for him. Wait, stop that rubbish. You are an idiot. How dare you? How dare you try to make plans to marry the Queen Mother of Odu Kingdom without my consent? For a commoner! Didn't this shameless woman know he was a commoner when she threw her legs? I will not allow you to do that to my mother. Talk more of bringing the family reputation to the gutters. Dare to stop me and you will face my wrath. <laughs> it's like you're forgotten. I am the Lord of Odu Kingdom and my words are final. I have spoken. I am telling you right now. Send that man on exile and strip our mother, the Queen Mother of the Kingdom, off her place. You can give it to whoever you want to give it to. Look at this infertile fool. Who are you lording over? You know what? I was going to let go of the position of the rulership for you. After our last discussion, did you see this disrespect you just showed me now? You will pay for it. Hey, listen, you will not do nothing. You can't do nothing! We shall see. You are not going to go away and abandon your children just like that. At least they have you. You will take care of them like they are yours. <sighs> You're not going to leave me here with all these people all by myself. You have a man that loves you. A proper marriage. Look at me. What do I have? If I give in to staying back to make sacrifices to appease the... Adugo. You what? I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, all I did was with good intention. Can't you see? You're enjoying the fruit of that. What fruit? What enjoyment are you talking about? That singular act of yours made me to go get medication from a local herb seller that cost me my womb. I'm sorry. My goodness. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, Lord. Oh. You people were going to force me into marrying another woman because of the prophecy that could not pinpoint exactly where the mistake was made. And now, you're all turning blind eyes to the case that Uchinna 
cannot produce an heir to this throne because of favoritism. Hmm? I will fight you one after another. I will fight each and every one of you. You will feel my wrath. Hmm. Yeah, you got one. Igwe Pestus. What exactly do you want? The throne! What rightfully belongs to me? The throne. This man here is impotent. He cannot produce an heir to this throne. Mm. How can an impotent man be the head when a potent man is there? It's cheating. This is cheating. Sit down. My fellow elders, I want us to look into this matter very well. I suggest we mark the two kingdoms as one for easy administration. What are you vomiting with your vocal cavity? What are you saying? You have sat down with this hocus pocus again. What is wrong with you? Do you want to invite, invite the rest of the gods upon us or what? Hmm. I will hear be a robber. Elders. No. I think I'm in support of Ichie uh, Magulu's uh, idea. Okay. We all are aware that the two thrones were set up because of the distances that the people of uh, Omodike were covering before they would be able to attend cabinet meeting in Umazo. Mm -hmm. But fortunately, we all are mobile now. That is to say that we have cars. And we can attend the meeting and go back on time. By that, I'm referring to the council members from Omodike. Oh, no. Thank you. It's a very beautiful one. Thank you. I support it completely. But the big question there is this. In the event that we merge these two towns mm. to form one big kingdom, who is going to be the king? I, of course. You all here will agree with me that I'm the only eligible heir to this throne. You all know it. Well, my elders, I do not need to cast a vote to know that um, you all want this change. I mean, it's very obvious. My king is not at that. No, no. Ah, what is he doing? But my lord, it's not like that. My elder brother cannot be my subject. Since we have decided to make the throne of Udui dynasty, I voluntarily, I voluntarily hand over the throne to my brother. Hmm. Let him be the lord. Let the gods fight this fight. You are a man. Let the gods fight this fight. Take a man. Take a man. Take free. Oh. 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 For a throne that don't belong to you Have you forgotten it's the girls that you are If you are fighting You are fighting in vain now If you are pushing You are pushing in vain now You are pushing in vain now
My people, this is a sad event that just happened. But we will have to move on. Because one cannot, because of death, decide not to go to war. The decision is that Prince Uchenna will have to be recrowned as the Lord of Odu. We will no longer have two thrones, but one powerful dynasty. What about the issue of his uh, impotency? Has it been resolved? Mm. One cannot see the mouth of the bed and still ask from how, where it feeds. There is existence of a male son in the royal household. Meanwhile, King Uchenna will rule in the stead of late King Fesu's son until the son comes of age. That is his decision. Yeah. 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 So free, so free.